Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? It's Big P here, and still. Uh, I'm going to do an interview now with Josh Whale. I've not spoke to him on the channel for a bit, just see how he's doing. Uh, don't need a script for this. It's pretty easy, so let's just give him a ring. See if he's about. How are you doing Josh? Are you alright mate? Yeah, I'm good at you, Pop. I'm alright, nice to have you on the channel, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, Joe. Are you coping alright? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's crazy times, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, are, you, are you ticking over, Josh, in camp? With boxing and that, are you ticking over? Yeah, yeah, just doing run, 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 meal runs and turkeys and that in the house, Pop. Is that all you're doing in that? Are you wanting garden and that? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, so much, there's so much more you can do, pal, isn't there? And you've been going for a, what, a joke run right block and that, Josh? Yeah, yeah, I've been running in that, pal. Yeah. Just obviously, that's all you can do, isn't it? Running and circuits and. Girl, tackle and that, like, but, you know, yeah. it's different than going to a gym, isn't it? Mm. Of course, you've probably not been going to your dad's, have you? Or you've been just going up to look, talking to him through a window or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been talking through a window. Or when he sat above my garden, I'll go to the top of the drive. It's crazy, like. Just be dropping him shopping off. Uh, yeah. Probably my mic, obviously. Yeah. Whenever they need help. And it's, it's, it's I mean, you know what? 2020, you've been doing stuff like this. It's crazy. It's like World War II, been, isn't it? Yeah, I've just been down now, Josh. Don't you some stuff crackers. Yeah, what, what's happening with Jim now then, Josh? Has it been short? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was at Jim, Jim got short three weeks ago, didn't he? When government said, yeah. uh, you know, always you're in all the gyms have got a short, we had to short like, so that's where we are. I mean, I feel a bit, uh, you know, we're, we're a lot of. We're a place for a lot of kids, you know, to come and, and um, you know, it obviously tells us, the, you know, tells us the problems and if they're having, yeah. having issues or all like that. I mean, I, I, feel for, I feel for them kids, you know what I mean? Because not everybody's got big families and, you know, people that can call them. Uh, for a lot of young kids, bo boxing gym is your family, you know what I mean? You, you're consoling people here and coaches and your mates and stuff like that. You know, I feel for them kids, obviously, they've all got me done, but they all know I'm, I'm there for them if they need help. Uh, but yeah. when, you, when you're in the gym, three or nights a week with them, you, you build a bond with them, so the trust in you, you know what I mean? So, thanks for them kids, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm worried about like. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not good, and of course, the longer it goes on, a lot of them kids that come to your gym and that, a lot of them have got obviously problems and issues in their life, and that's why them boxing's their escape, isn't it? Have you spoke to Dale, the, the, the kid from Maltby? Is he alright? Yeah, yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm in contact with him all on, on social media and I send, send him messages and stuff like that. So, the, you know, there's lots of kids, I mean, from, from, from young as all the way through, even, even as seniors, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. The or, you know, the job or all, all that, you know, it's all different walks of life, but what you, you lead is a boxing trainer. You're not, you're not just a boxing coach. You, you're like a social worker sometimes, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, yeah, I understand. I got, you know, they get, a lot, they get a lot of comfort from my dad, like, obviously, because my dad's a pretty straight shooter and mm. he's, uh, he's experienced a lot in his life, like, so, 
you know, it, it, it can, they can they can relate to it with me and, and with me. Uh, that, you know, they can they can relate. You know, younger and can can console with me a bit. So yeah, so kids are worried about like I'm worried for my gym. I'm, I'm worried for all kids in it. Yeah, yeah, I've I've seen that uh, when you've been around your gym and that you've uh, got a lot of time for them, haven't you? Yeah, I've got, I've, I've, you know, I, I, I do all, I, I don't like my family, but I do all for them, you know, I'm lucky, I mean, obviously I've got uh, a big family with my dad and Queen Dempsey and all kids and, you know, we've, we've got a massive family and we can always count, count on each other, but mm. uh, a, lot, a lot of kids have not got that, you know, the, mm. Fighting themselves to, to you know do the best they can with boxing, they get a bit of uh, their guidance, we like. So yeah, it's just, uh, gets thinking, just gets me thinking about kids' bars. So. yeah, I know, mate, I know. Uh, so obviously you ain't got a date, then have you? And Dennis ain't got no dates, has he? And no, no. it's not. It's all up in the air, isn't it? And on England Amateur wrote to you and said that there's no Wild October. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be no uh, amateur shows till October. Well, if there's going to be no amateur lot till October, and and say for instance, Eddie Hearn's talking about August for professional, they'd be up raw, wouldn't they? Yeah. So I well, can't. Well, you got to look at it like you got to look at it like this, Russ. But, but they're not just going to open it straight back up to you know Harry Moore. No. They're going to say, me personally, I think they're going to say. Look, you can have events, but they're going to be 500 people or less. Mm. Uh, or you, you can you can run a gym, but there's going to be 10 people or less, or 20 people or less, or whatever. Mm. You, you can't make money, uh, you know, a, a professional sport with, with 500 people there. Obviously, amateurs are different. You know, it's it's, mm. it's not it's not it's not about making money. But if you if you're in with professionals, you know, they've got to, you know you've got to, generate money and it's going to take a lot of gain over it. it's going to take it's, it's, it's massive it's massive on so many different levels it's, mm. it's, it's, going to, it's going to be massive pal I think what it'll do is it'll flush out all the fl all the bluffers and the fakers in the boxing industry so that's a good thing it'll get rid of all the riff raff all them who are trying to blag it and them who are serious about it they'll, they'll be staying in the game won't they yeah. That's what I think. Yeah, I mean, boxing is a lifelong thing for me. I'm mm. myself probably in my dad's footsteps. Yeah. Boxing is our life, you know, it's been his life since, since I was born. Yeah. I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in it till day I die, like, that, yeah. that, that's where it is. But, um, like Mayweather. <laughs> yeah, like Mayweather's team, but, you know, a lot of people who was in it for making money and, uh, and for things like that, you know, trying to make a quick book, like, Obviously, it's not going to be there for a long time, so yeah, no. like you say, it'll, it'll, get, a, it'll get rid of a lot of them. Mm. Uh, but you die, you die, you die out boxing people, it'll still stick with you, Yeah, it, I, I'm just worried that it might uh, lose a bit of its sparkle for about 18 months or something at me. Do you know it's what I mean? Do, it's going to do, it's going to take a lot of gain over this. Uh, you know, it, and financially, I mean, you know, government's done the best they can for everybody, trying to keep everybody, you know, uh, you know, we try to keep some but financial issues on economy, you know, on economy and, and everything really, it's going to be massive. There's no, there's no business going on there. <laughs> but all, all the people that's making money at minute is supermarket. Yeah. Yeah, it's not good, is it? Yeah, that's true. That, yeah, supermarkets have done well, haven't they? <laughs> Like, like me when I went down and I couldn't get no and I said you know what I'm going to do I'll go on Amazon I'll buy some Marvel I bought six tins of Marvel 50 quid I just pressed send because I thought I'm in that prime it come and it were 38 quid delivery at milk were 12 quid I've been shafted on I? <laughs> I thought I'd pull the fast one didn't I I said don't worry kids there'll be some milk for you when I see you <laughs> yeah 50, 49 for six tins of Marvel. I didn't, I didn't see that one coming, but 
<laughs> you live and learn, don't you? But there weren't, hey, there were no uh, flour and all that when I went down there. It were like, uh, people were running around like locusts. <laughs> well, it's back in there, it's like, I can't understand it all. So, uh, uh, everything's, in, everything's in your local shop anyway, or should be, so yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, I some people just panicked, didn't they? I mean, a lot of, a lot of it's social media, because people were reading stuff and there were fake news out, f thinking that yeah. they were all going to go after it, go live in the cellars and that, like, in, or in an Anderson shelter, you know, like in World <laughs> War II. <laughs> uh, but, uh, people reacted differently, like, I mean, mm -hmm. on the one. People yeah, like me. It's uh, it's not good. Well, I'm just looking back at your career, Josh. You've had a colourful career. Who's been the best fighter that you've fought in your career, Josh? Obviously, you've won a British yeah. title, you've won other titles and that, and you've won an IBO International. Well, you're a current IBO International champion, aren't you? But who, who's been the best guy that you've been in with, win or lose? Is that who you just beat, Josh? Yeah, he was, he was a massive puncher, didn't he? Well, he never said, he never said out to me on night. Was he a big puncher, him? Yeah, you don't, do you? Yeah, but you beat him comfortably, yeah, though, didn't you, Josh? Yeah, I mean, obviously, he was... Did he, he shook you in round one though, didn't he, if I remember, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 he didn't shook me, like, he just, he just had a, he had a good dig about him, you know, like, yeah. you, you think, yeah. I like, I like stuff like that, mate. Huh? <laughs> 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 when you get when you get on flash and that, you know, you're in a face, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, Send for your Gwyn. <laughs> So he was a big punch. And what about the twenty-eight and one guy who you beat for the title? Yeah, yeah, so about him. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wrong. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, he he was in great shape, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he, he had a he had a, uh, he had a great camp and that. He, he were avoided for for many years, him like. He were, you mm. know, he had, he had some uh, he had some backers behind him, and also guy, and he didn't come over on his set. Yeah. He bought, he bought all, all, Yeah, that's yeah, that's probably the best win of your career, isn't it? even though you've won a British title and you've obviously you got robbed in France, didn't you, for European? Yeah. Uh, uh, don't don't broaden us now. That was a good win. Yeah. Uh, you were you were from a decorated amateur Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Commonwealth champion in pros. I knocked him. Knocked him uh, like he'd never been never been knocked out before. Yeah, you cut him down like you, you cut him down like cheese, didn't you, Josh? Him. Would you do anything different, Josh? I mean, because you just had your birthday yesterday, aren't you? 32 or the day before? Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, you're 32 and up. What would the 32 year old Josh Wales say to. The, were you 18 when you turned pro, Josh? 19. Yeah, 18, oh yeah. What would he say to the 18 year old Josh Wales, the 32 year old Josh Wales? nowadays Josh feel that they have to befriend certain people in boxing industry like boxers and sort of like piggyback onto them to get in with other promoters and you know kiss yeah, arse and that do you think you've got, you've got to do Paul you've yeah. got to do that's, that's you know, you've got to do but I, I just won't willing to I won't I, I'm not kid where I am for anybody you know what I mean yeah and, and it does the same as me if, if somebody had seen me he, he got said like It's a great story, Josh. I think it'll be made into oh, a yeah. film one day. Because you're the, yeah. you're a minor celebrity, aren't you, in Barnsley? <laughs> yeah. thing is your dad's fighting fit now well obviously yeah. he's still he's on his medication that but he's tough as old yeah. boots isn't he yeah. Yeah. and 
You're, you're, you've, just, you've just won a title and you, you're looking to move on to bigger things. You're 32, you're fighting at a featherweight, you're in a better place than you've ever been in your career, Josh, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, um, and, and, not, and not all of that. It's, 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 it's time I've invested away from boxing, Paul. I've got, I've got four, 40 kind of kids now at Mickey's Athletic Minute, my and my dad's boxing club. I, I, I've worked terribly tenuously with, with kids, you know. Mm. I'm not just, I'm, I've got a lot to, to, to bring when I've done boxing. Yeah. All, the, all, all, all the kids I'm going to fetch all them through, obviously, to the, hopefully one day they'll be ready for all turning professional and, and winning titles for themselves. I'm not just, mm. I've given back, you know, I've always... I've always wanted uh, respect that my dad's got off kids. You know, yeah. I, I'm gradually, I'm gradually getting there. With him. I've spent a lot of time with, with building boxing club up. And it's hard work, you know. I've got, I've got three young, young, young boys myself, so yeah, I mean, it's hard work. Yeah, I've got, you know, I've got, I'm, I'm busy all the time, so I, I put a lot of time into to boxing club, and that that'll that'll pay dividends in, in years to come. Yeah, that's. Uh... Well, you're starting out, aren't you? From a fresh, aren't you? So when your career ends, these kids might be ready to to blossom. And do you know what I mean? It's. It, I think it's a great story. I think it'll be turned into a film, and I, and the crowning uh, moment might be you winning a world title at Barnsley Football Ground. All being well. Yeah, I mean, I've got a great team behind me now, Paul. Obviously, we did Yeah. And Steve yourself. You yeah. know, it's like. It's a big thing, and Dennis don't build things in half, Polly, you know it. Yeah. He likes, he, he, likes to, he likes to build big big things, doesn't he? So, yeah. You know, if, he, if he wants to put a, a, me in a world title fight, you know, well, it's probably, there's, there's not, you know, if he wants to do it, he'll, he'll do it. You yeah. Know, that, that's, that's drive he's got, like. Yeah. We, we, we I am in, in boxing, ring, you know, Dennis will be like that. You know, in, in his in his line of work, if he wants something, he goes out and gets it. Yeah, he's pretty driven, isn't he, Dennis? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got all the businesses and mm. what he's done in boxing himself with all the world champions and that. Mm. You've got to, you've got to be. I mean, he's he's respected around well, pal, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's got kids, chances. Like, I mean, who would have said Stewie Hall would win a world title? Jamie McDonnell. Clinton Woods, you know, people like that. Yeah. Carl Thompson, who Carl Crawford, Crawford Ashley iced him, didn't he, in his ninth fight? He were 8 0. Yeah. He said he walked through Crawford Ashley, Crawford Ashley put him to sleep. Do you know yeah. Do you know what I mean? And Clinton beat Crawford, so, you know, he took David A, didn't he, to the European title? Obviously, then they left, but he brought him on from yeah. debut, didn't he, David A? Dennis has been there, seen it, done it, hasn't he? And, and I think, from what I've heard, that uh, he's going to deliver for you, Josh, so. But you know, it's it's this virus, and there's all sh yeah. there's all people in boxing that are trying to block Dennis. <laughs> you know what goes on, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's that, that same in all parts. Like I was saying, Dennis, he, he does things his own way. He don't kiss mm. people's ass or whatever, yeah. does he? Yeah. You know, he, he does things his way, pal, and that, that's the best way to be. Yeah. So, right then. Well, that's been brilliant, Josh. It's been nice to have you on. I always feel like. I like to have you on because you know we me making big noises to sign you for Dennis and that, and I always feel that I have to just check that you're all right. <laughs> Keep an just eye on you, Josh. Hey, I might have Carl Froch now as your favourite boxer or what? It's between you and Carl Froch now, isn't it? You're my he's my favourite boxer who's retired. You're my favourite active boxer. How's that, Josh? <laughs> Splinters in my arse. Yeah, he's a sky man, though, Russ. Come on, what do you call him? Company man. Company man. Company man. Alright, then. Company man. Are you alright, Russ? Yeah, I'm alright, mate. Yeah, kids are sound, mate. So. Yeah. Brilliant. Are you alright, mate? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. How you keeping them busy? Uh, doing a lot of reading. I've been playing football with him today in garden and done an yeah, e Easter egg football. Easter egg hunt. I, I did a couple of cabbage cream eggs. I sniffed them out like sniffer dogs. All right, then, mate. Well, listen. Thanks for coming on, Josh, and keep in touch. No and anytime. love to your family, mate. You take care. Yeah. See Cheers, pal. Bye, bye, bye. 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 That was Josh Whale. The uh, current IBO 
international champion and soon to be world ranked uh, I'm not going to say too much because there's too many double agents listening on here isn't there you know who you are don't you hey eh? it's the one over there the one with ginger hair <laughs> but no he's, uh, he's a lovely kid Josh and I don't need a script to uh, do a Josh Whale interview I've just done a a script there for the Crawford Ashley one but uh, don't need a script for Josh it's I know his career off by art I know everything about him I know what time he gets up time he goes to bed I've got eyes everywhere Josh <laughs> but fantastic interview what a great story 16 year old top amateur fighting in England squad rooming with Luke Campbell who went on to win Olympic gold and his dad gets cancer. How awful is that? But this kid stood by, gritty and big heart, and they stood by. And that family have been to Ellen back. We were how, his, how ill his dad's been, and do you know what? He never got rid of his dad and all that. I think that's brilliant. A lot of boxers would have gone somewhere else, wouldn't they? Be like Carl Zaggy, They tried to get rid of his dad, didn't they? And he stood firm with his dad. And I think there's. This is where boxing, this is where people, all these knockers who have a go at boxing, there's a human element in boxing and this is where I get so so revved up about things that I see behind scenes and, that, and people know not to do things in front of me, let me tell you. I'm not going to say any names but I see a lot of things I don't like and I'm told well, how can you say that with what you, you've been involved in been at Nick all your life well listen and took drugs like well listen it don't mean to say that I can be a criminal all my life does it boxing I don't take out out boxing and I love it with all my heart and Josh there he's on the same wavelength as me he never cashed his daddy when he were ill did he that's where there's a human element in boxing and this is why I get so angry when I see people like Eddie Earn crying because somebody's died and then two days later he's making a fight with PED cheats so with two, with two and three time cheats. You see where I'm coming from? So, Josh Whale and his dad have not kissed no arses. They've called a spade a spade and they've done, their own, done it their own way, aren't they? Straight John Bull. And that's why I respect them. People can say, oh, Porky, you're a whale rimmer. I'm not a whale rimmer, they're just the same as me, aren't they? They just tell it straight. So, people need to get behind Josh Whale because he's going to win a belt, a really good world title belt, let me tell you, at Barnsley Football Ground this year or next year. So, get behind him and get back in his shows when the, his amateur shows are back. Mickey's Athletic at Mexborough. Get following Josh on Twitter, J Boy Outlaw, because he's one of the most nicest genuine people you can meet in boxing right and there's not many that you can meet in boxing that are genuine he's one of them josh whale all right so peace out keep on trucking keep supporting boxing shout out to steve wellings on boxing asylum ozzy smiddo and andy patterson I hope you're all well lads keep keep self-isolating shout out to terry and rico peace